Hello everyone, I am Swamesha Chanapati, Assistant Professor of Civil Engineering at Bedang Institute of Technology. We had already discussed about Mohr circle method, but here in this class we will discuss Mohr circle method while application of two mutually perpendicular direct stresses with shear stress will be present. So this class is going to be very interesting. Okay, so here is the acting of uh, anticlockwise direction angle okay with the vertical i have missed that that angle will be anticlockwise to the vertical that means our angle will be from this okay. so it will be put theta right now what do we need to do we will do the draw we'll draw the circle more circle and let's know how to draw that circle first as always, we will take the x axis and y axis. Okay. So, we know the x axis will be direct stress or normal stress, and the y axis will be. So, we have what? This is your sigma x that is in x direction and here sigma y that will be y direction and sigma x. Okay. Let's take the shear stress as tau. Right. Now, as always, as the previous classes uh, said, we will, we will draw sigma x and sigma y. So, after drawing the sigma x and sigma y, let the sigma x will be from this point. Okay. This point will be sigma x and sigma y we will take from this. Okay. Now what? Now we need to Now, we need to the shear stresses. So, you can see the shear stress also in what? In x axis and y axis. So, this, this shear stress is going for that will be applied here in case of up to sigma x point. Okay. This point is for sigma y. So, for this now we will take at point sigma y okay so let's start so what the value of this tau x let's take it as tau x and let's take it as tau y we will draw that which manner you can see what are what will be the sign changes so in case of clockwise or anti-clockwise direction if you can see this shear stress is acting in clockwise direction okay so while that is in clockwise direction you need to take that as positive and if shear stress acting in negative sign like this this is acting in this direction in manner in this manner so we will take the negative okay this is your clockwise direction And here it is anti clockwise direction. Okay. So, what we will do? We will take the clockwise direction as positive. So, you can see in x axis and y axis, this side represents 
पॉजिटिव ओके एंड दिस विल बी रिप्रेजेंटेड एज नेगेटिव सिमिलरली फॉर वाई एक्सिस द अपर पार्ट विल बी पॉजिटिव एंड हियर विल बी नेगेटिव ओके सो व्हाट वी विल डू वी नो दिस टाओ एक्स दैट विल बी इन सिग्मा एक्स साइड दैट वी विल टेक इन पॉजिटिव डिरेक्शन राइट नेक्स्ट वर्ड फॉर दिस टाउ फॉर टाउ वाई सो फॉर टाउ वाई वी विल ड्रॉ अ लाइन लाइक दिस now what to do now our work is to find out the center of mohr circle so how to find out the center of mohr circle let's just connect these two dots this is up to what this is up to tau x and this is up to tau y right now our work is to just connect these after connecting this we have the point here take it as o okay so now we have the plane let take it x and y okay we have already discussed that in case of diagram if it is theta in case of mohr circle it will be 2 theta right so 2 theta will be from this in this direction so after calculating 2 theta from this point let's we have the angle in this manner here it is 2 theta okay now by taking this as oy or ox your radius we will draw the mohr circle okay you can see the more circle now what we have already done this 2 theta thing let's draw one perpendicular from this point and take it as t so after drawing the perpendicular we have the point here okay and let's name it as s then we have ts value and this let it as p so this ts will be your shear stress or you can say tangential stress sorry you can say tangential stress so this point this to this <clears throat> from p to s is nothing but your sigma n that is normal stress right another you can draw the resultant stress from here yeah, and let's join it okay now you have sigma n that is which one p s and sigma t that is your tangential stress which one t s okay now sigma r you can calculate in two ways 
you can see this PHT triangle. So, by using Pythagoras theorem, you can find out this PT. Sigma R is nothing but PT and PT is, will be root over of PS square plus TS square. We know our hypotenuse will be square of height and base. Okay. You can write sigma r also root over of sigma n square plus sigma t square. Done. So, in this way you can find out normal stresses, tangential stress and resultant stress if there is presence of what? Two mutually perpendicular direct stresses and shear stress. So, another thing will be done what? If the angle is in clockwise direction, okay. Here you can see the angle will be in anticlockwise direction. That's why we draw the diagram like this. So, if the angle is in clockwise direction, so this OT will be changed. This OT will be drawn like this, okay. And the whole process will be little bit changed. So, we will take one example in our next class by using different angle or anticlockwise angle, clockwise angle or we can take tensile stress and compressive stress and we will solve lots of numerical on basis of that. So, till then stay tuned, keep smiling, keep signing. Thank you so much.